Hi, Raphael. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Rafael, can you hear me? Espérame con el video. Teacher? Hi. Hello, Carlos. Oh, you're still connecting, I guess, huh? Hi. Hi, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. Thank for asking. And you? Good, good. Oh, Hi, Rafael. Hi, teacher. How can are you? you? Hear me now? Yes, I can. Um, I'm fine. I, I, think I don't it's know if it's just me. The signal is, is very bad. Is it? I don't know. I think it's mine. Okay. Yes, because I have a message on the screen that tells me that the connection is bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. But can you hear us? Yes. Can you hear us, Rafael? Yes. In this moment, yes. Okay, that's the most important thing then that you can hear us, right? So it's okay if um, if you are, um, you know, even if your connection is not that great, but if you can hear us, that's okay. That's the most important thing. Okay. okay? All right. Hi, Luis. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. A little tired, but fine. Yeah. Monday is a tough, tough day, huh? Yeah. You feel your day so big. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. Yeah, it, it, Monday always tends to be a very tough day because, um, you know, well, you you come from from having a, a, a weekend, you know, waking up late and just relaxing, and so it's difficult on Mondays, right? And sometimes there's more work on Mondays too. Usually. Yeah. It's correct. Yeah. All right. So I um, also have um, Dennis. How are you, Dennis? Oh, hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, okay. How was your day today? Um, let's see, kind of relaxed teacher. Oh, good, good, Not, good. Nothing extraordinary. Oh, okay, okay, that, that, that's that's <laughs> positive, right? <laughs> I would say, right? Yeah, yes. Positive, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, not too tired then? You're not too tired? I'm sorry? You're not too tired? No, no. No? No. Okay, good. No, that's fine. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, right. good, excellent. Thank you. All right. Um, and Josue, how are you, Josue? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Josue. How, how was your day? Hard, teacher. Really? Why? What happened? Yeah. I have a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Accumulated work, too? Yes, teacher. It's terrible. Man. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, do any of you work in, like, a place where they're going to have, um, 
like uh, the Black Friday? Guys... No, it's, it's different. It's different, okay. But anybody here is going to work and it works in a place where they're going to have the Black Friday? No, teacher. No? Okay, okay. Yeah, because I, I sometimes with um with that, it, it, it becomes even worse, you know. But I think this year it's going to be different, I imagine, anyways, because, um, you know, people are not going to be going to the Black Friday as much as before, right? Lots of people are probably not going to want to even you know, go to a store, especially with lots of people, right? Not, not, not the best idea. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, and how was your weekend? How was the weekend? Nothing special, really. Okay. I only only rest in my house. Oh, nice, nice. That's that that sounds good. <laughs> Those days better to stay at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I totally agree. I totally agree. I, I I think um I mean it's nice. It's nice to go out, you know, and everything. But it's also nice to be at home and just rest and you know sleep. <laughs> you know, watch yeah. movie or whatever. Watching movies or mm -hmm. series. Yeah. Or something like that. Did you watch um it? sorry? Did you watch any movies this weekend? Uh, a movie now, but but I wa I was watching uh, a series in Netflix. I was watching oh. Better Call Saul. Mir Miracle what? Uh, uh Better Call Saul. Better Call South. Yeah. Saul. Oh, Saul. That one. Saul. What is that about? Is is uh, uh, I know how to say precuela in English. The what? Precuela. I don't even know what that is in Spanish. <laughs> well, uh, I, I would. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> a, a precuela, a precuela is when you, for for example, I um. This this month ago, I was watching uh, Breaking Bad. Uh huh. Uh, Breaking Bad uh, is a series. is an is a is a series, but uh, Better Call Saul is is a prequel about uh, about uh -huh. uh, Breaking Bad. Is when a series. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I just I just looked it up right now on the uh, on the internet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it says here. It says here that it's a, um, it's a copied from the English prequel. Prequel. Um, so the prequel. Prequel. Is, yeah. Pre okay. We have sequel and prequel, right? The sequel uh -huh. is yeah. the second part, and the prequel yeah. is the one before. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, that you you said that word in in Spanish too. I didn't know that. Okay. So that's <laughs> new for me too. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. So it's you the, learned the, something new up today. Yeah. Yeah. I learned. <laughs> you always learn something new. That's true. Um, so so this is the prequel of what? Uh, about a uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. The prequel of Breaking Bad. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and what what did yeah, you, what was the name? Uh, better call Saul or Saul? Saul in Spanish? I don't know how to say it. Oh, Saul. In Saul. 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 Okay. Saul. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, it's it, it's an, it's nice. Mm hmm. Okay. I like that series. I love that. I love see series those days in, in in quarantine. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. There are a lot of good series um, out there. You know. Um, yeah. And, and some and sometimes, for example, with um, the this, the like Netflix or things like that, where you see where you have all the series. Um, 
to your disposition, like it's tough sometimes to stop, you know, and say, okay, that's it. I'm not going to see any more. You want to go more and more and more, you know, <laughs> that's, yeah, it's, it's tough. Okay, guys. Well, um, I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. I hope, I hope everybody had the opportunity of just relaxing and enjoying themselves. It's important, right? Just to, um, yeah, it's, it's important to relax and everything because of course, um, you know, with, um, you know, so many things that are happening, it's important to rewind and just, you know, start all over, you know, for recharge your batteries so that on Monday you are ready. Um, all right, guys. So um, what we're going to do right now today, we're going to continue talking about, um, well, we're, we're still working on, on section number two. By the way, before, before we begin, I want to know, um, I want to know if, um, if you are, if you have already finished section, section one, and you are already in section two. So how many people um, have already finished section one? How many people have finished section one? Let me say. I'll finish. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's do it like that. Let's, um, right now, everybody uh, with their little, you know, hand, uh, you can put reaction there and tell me, are you finished section one right now? Yes, teacher. Okay. I finish. Okay. All right. Um, Raphael, are you finished? Yes, I finished uh, okay. section two today. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Um, we have Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi. Hi. Uh, were you able to finish? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, good. So um, everybody should be now in section two, right? That's what, that's why I want to know yes. if you are all in section two. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. All right. In that case, um, in that case, we're going to, well, we're going to continue there with section number two. I asked you guys, um, or better said on, on Thursday, I explained a little bit about the, um, the, uh, the present, the, the present That's continuous the passive and the pa the present perfect passive. Do you guys remember a little bit about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, good. All right. Just um, for us to remember what I'm going to do is just quickly do a little bit of a review on the whiteboard. Okay, can you all see the whiteboard? Tell me when you can all yeah. see it. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, so, so we have, um, okay, so we have passives here. So the first passive that we saw was the present, continuous passive, okay? And we decided that with this one, the only thing basically that we have that is a little different from the other passives that we're used to is that we use the present continuous for the verb to be, right? For example, we can say, um, For example, um, um,
I'm actually going to cut it down like this because I think it'll be easier if I do it like this. Okay, so we can just um, put it here. Like, okay, so um, many trees are being cut down. Okay, um, and if you want, you can add a little bit of a uh, of, of a um, of a compliment. We could say, um, add in alarming. Oops, oh no. Alarming feed. So many trees are being cut down in a, at an alarming um, speed. Okay. So basically, here, um, this part here, this this part that is the green and the pink, this is what um, forms the passive voice, right? Um, So this right here is the passive voice, right? And the passive voice, uh, if we remember, is made up of two parts. The verb to be, which is right here, and the past participle, which is right here. Okay? So the difference here with this one is just simply that the verb to be is going to be in the present continuous, right? Are being. We use are because, oh, sorry, my mistake. It should say trees, not trees. Not trees. Oh, it does say trees. Is that? Let me make it a little bit. There you go. Okay, so many trees are being cut down at an alarming speed. So here, trees is plural, therefore, that's why we use are, right? And um, to make it the present continuous, we have to use the ing form of b. In this case, it's b. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. So that's um, the present the present continuous, right? Um, just for you guys to remember, this is the verb to be, and this is the past participle, right? Or if you want me, I can. I can I can write this. Okay. So this is this comes from the verb be, and this comes from the past participle. Okay. All right. So, any questions so far? Anything you wanna that wasn't clear the first time, or right now that you would want want me to clarify? I have a question. Okay. Go ahead, Pamela. Um. Uh, this this sentence, like you say, han sido cortado. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, sorry, no, ansilo, no, because ansilo would be the past, right? This is the present, right? So, in this case, there be muchos árboles. Están siendo. Exactly, there you go, están siendo. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome, Pamela. And thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you guys understand at an alarming speed? Yeah. Yeah. We could say also um, fast. 
-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The alarming speed, yeah. Like very fast that makes people uh, be, be worried about it. Yeah, okay. Teacher. Yeah. What is the difference between the words um, speed and velocity? Because I remember that I've already seen it. What would be the difference between those words? Um, the velocity is actually more related to the actual, like, um, it's, it's more about physics. Yeah. Yeah. It's more related to like more scientific. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whereas speed is just more in general. Mm -hmm. And what about, for example, the difference between house and household? Because today I found a, a word that it was very confused for me because I thought that they said a uh, house, old appliances. I thought that I, it, were, it was old and I didn't know that the household existed <laughs> yeah um house is the actual the physical place okay yeah okay yeah um so the house is where you live the act the, the building yeah. where you live whereas household mm -hmm. can refer to anything that is inside of the house including the the actual people that live in the house okay yeah Okay. Does that make sense? So like, for example, if you say the household income, it means the income that is of all the people that live in the house, okay. right? Like so the all, all of, the, all of the, the income included inside of the house. And if you have like a household appliance, then it would be an appliance or a device that is inside of the house that you use for the house. The for example, it could be and, and belong to the family. It belongs to the family. Mm -hmm. belong? Yeah, it belongs to the okay. family and it's specifically to use in the house. Okay. 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 So Same. yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a, like household appliances would be in Spanish. Um, it would be like a What's in Spanish? I forgot. Um, oh my goodness! I the word has it's a tip of my tongue, and I can't remember right now. Um, eh, aparatos domésticos, right? Aparatos domésticos. Domésticos means that it's of the house inside. Things that you use inside of the house and not things that you would use outside. Yeah. So it's for example, plan. so for example, I don't know, a blender, right? Una licuadora, okay. a blender, it would be a household mm -hmm. appliance because you don't really use a yeah. blender outside of the house. Of course. Right? So it's it's things that have to do specifically with the things in the house that you would not you would not normally use outside of the house okay yeah okay all right good um any other questions that you guys had before i continue with the other part remember this is just like a review so that's why i'm not i'm just going to give you one sentence just so that you guys remember activate your your memory no it's okay teacher no it's okay it's okay teacher Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, um, let's go now to the other one, which is, um, okay. Um, okay, so the present, uh, now this present continuous passive. Let's go now to the a present. Oops. The present perfect. Oh, by the way, guys, don't don't forget 
why we use the present continuous passive. Uh, remember, these are activities that someone else is doing to the action, as right to the the action that is being done to the person or thing. In this case, the trees are the ones that are receiving the action being coming down, and it continues in the present. So it's not finished, right? So in this case, the trees continue to be cut down. It's not like they cut them down and that's it, right? Okay. So something that continues, something that that um, is ongoing. And then we have the present perfect passive, which is means that there's an action that, or better said, an action that was done to another, um, an action that was done to a person or thing, and that was, um, that was finished before the present, okay? So to give you an example, um, let me see. Let's see. Sorry, I forgot I was going to do this by parts. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we have the report. We're going to use has been. Before has been, and then we're going to use think with the past participle has been sent. Already. Okay, the already is our complement. You don't need a complement, but if you want, you can have it. You guys, I could just simply say the report has been sent, has been sent already. Oh, sorry, it has been sent, period. Um, okay, so here, this is an action that happened before this moment, this, this moment in the present, okay? So if I say, um, if we're talking about the report, we're talking about the report in this moment, and in the past, they sent the report, okay? So the report receives the action of being, of being sent. And again, we have here, this is the structure of the, this is the structure of the present, uh, sort of the passive voice. Um, remember, do remember that we're talking of the verb to be. And this is the past participle. Okay, send, right? And just so that you don't forget. Um, okay, so this is, from, this is coming from the verb to be. And we, after the verb to be, we always use the past participle in the passive voice. So there you go. Now, um, so basically you can see that we're always gonna use the same structure in the passive. This is always, oh, we're always gonna use B. We're always gonna use the past participle. The only thing that is being changed in here is the form of the verb B. This is the form of the present continuous of B. 
And this is the form of the present perfect of B. Okay? So far, so good? Yeah. Yes. Any questions that you want to ask me at this moment? No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great. Go ahead, Pamela. Uh, or is it different of have and has? Has been and have been. Oh, um, have would be with uh, subjects such as I, you, we, and they. And has would be with the third person singular, which is he, she, or it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. All right. Any other questions? No. You sure? Just, um, yes. uh, just um, I remember you said uh, something about uh, pronunciation, pronunciation about uh, be in and being, right? This is the correct way in those, in those words? Right, right, okay. So um, here, be careful because you don't want to pronounce it the same way. Uh, this is be in, two syllables. This is been, been. Okay, okay. In which is one syllable, okay? So this one okay. would be our be in, this one is has been. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Any other questions? No. No? You sure? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, teacher. Good yeah, evening. hi. Uh, can you give us another example of question perfect passive, please? Um, yeah, I will give some more examples, but like I said, um, it, this is just a review of what we saw last class. And now I'm yeah. gonna actually start by giving you more, or better said, not more, but um, adding on to this topic, okay? So basically, I will give more, ex more sentences with this, but this is just the basic, what we saw on Thursday for us to remember, activate our ideas, okay? You just have to remember this, the important, like, like I, ex I was explaining on Thursday, the only thing that changes is the verb to be. Everything else is gonna be exactly the same, yeah? So the, the form of be for the present continuous is our being. The form of the present perfect for be is has been. Okay, now it could also change uh, for this one, for, for the verb, um, for are, we can also use is or am, not so much common am, but is is possible. If, for example, if, if, this, um, if this was singular, if this said um, tree, a tree, a tree, only a tree, then it would say is being, a tree is being cut down. The same thing here. If this said re the reports, then over here it'd say have. The reports have been sent already. Okay, so it's so it's going to depend on the subject, right? But basically, um, this is always going to be are, is, or am, and then been. This one is always going to be have or has and been. Okay. Okay, so that's what we learned on Thursday. Today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add it to this topic. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to use the present continuous passive and the present perfect passive with prepositions, okay? We actually saw a preposition last week using by. By is when the agent, um, when the agent is the one where we're mentioning the agent, okay? For example, um, we can say, um,
Actually, you know what? No, let me, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to start from the very beginning. Um, okay, so I'm going to put it like this. Um, Now, if I say the research, team, the research team is reviewing the studies, okay? If I say that to you, um, this is actually what we call the active voice. The active voice, I don't know, can you, let's see. I don't know if you can see this or not. So the active voice is what we're normally used to, okay? So we're, no, we're used to having, um, we're used to having the, uh, the person who does the action at the beginning of the sentence, right? In this case, the, sub, the, the subject of the action is what? Sorry? The research team. The research the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The research team would be the, um, okay, the, the subject. Let me just underline that. Okay. So that's the, the this would be the subject. Okay, and then after that, we have the, the, the form of the verb. The verb here is reviewing. So I'm, let me change the color. Let's make it. Mm. I'm going to make it pink. And then we have the complement, the studies, right? And this complement is actually, well, okay, so this is the verb. And then this would be the object. All right, so is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So that's how yes. we normally, this is the normal way that we make sentences, right? This is not passive voice. Don't get confused. That's why I'm putting here active voice. Now, to yeah. create the passive voice, So to create the passive voice, what we're going to do is we're going to take the object, and I explained a little bit of this last time. We're going to take the object, and we're going to make that object the subject. So we're going to start with the object. In this case, it's the studies, right? Yeah. So here we go, the studies. Okay, now, um, excuse me. <coughs> okay. So, um, 
Okay, so here is the, the, the subject. So the subject of the passive voice is the object of the active voice, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the verb, the verb to be, right? That's what we have to do right here, the verb to be. Now, what, like I said before, what changes, the only thing that changes here is how you put the verb to be. To figure out how to put the verb to be, you have to put look at the, at the original verb. Now, this original verb is in what format? What is the structure? What is the name of this tense? The tense of the of the sentence? Yeah. Is simple present researching is reviewing is simple present. Mm. It's not simple. Present continuous. Exactly. It's the present continuous. Exactly. Right? This is the present continuous. That means that the verb to be has to also be in the present continuous. Yeah. So does that make sense? Yeah. No So the present continuous of the verb to be is. In that case, it would be R. R, good, in fact, R. B. B. R. B. R. B. 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 Good, R. B. That's the present perfect, sorry, the, sorry, this is the, the present continuous of the verb to be. And then we have to put past participle, right? Yeah. What's the past participle? Well, it, but it has to be the past participle of the original verb. And the original verb is review. So what's the past participle of review? Reviewed. Reviewed. Exactly. Uh, are being reviewed. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do in this one, though, is I'm going to, I'm like over here, if you notice, I used, I used the object, the studies, I used the verb, but I haven't used the subject of the active voice. So if you want to add the subject, what we do is we use the word by. Okay, so we end up saying the preposition by. And then we say who it is, by who, or by what. By the research team. The research team. Research team. Exactly, by the research team. Mm -hmm. um, let's put that in. By the research. Research team. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. Yes. So in this yes. case, yes. It, so in this case, we are introducing the subject with the preposition by. Okay. So far, so good, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Yeah. But we're gonna use the preposition by. Uh, always the indirect object appears, right? Right. If, if we don't have, if we don't have indirect object, as for example, in the first, uh -huh. we can put that. For example, many trees are being cut down at an alarming speed. By who? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. That's that's the idea here. That uh, the word by introduces the person or the thing that does the action. Okay. Yeah. 
So using the word by introduces the person or the thing that does the action. So far so good, we understand this? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, it's great, teacher. Okay, yes. good. All right, but there are other, there are other prepositions that we can use, okay? There are other prepositions that we can use. Okay, so what are those prepositions? Well, for example, I'm going to actually put them over here so that you know what I'm talking about, um, so that you can guide yourself. Oops. Sorry, what did you say? Um, that I'm going to put the prepositions. I'm going to write the list of the prepositions that we can use over here. Oh, up here. Okay. Okay. So some of the so right now I'm actually going to start talking about. I can use by. Let me put it in bold. By. I can also use because of. As a. As a result of. Yes, very good. As a result of. Throw. Yes, very good. Through. And what's the other one? The two. Very good. The two. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So those are some of the propositions that we can use when we're using passives. Okay. Um, Okay, um, so passive, so this is per particularly what I'm teaching you today is not just passives, but passives with prepositions. Okay, and I already showed you what the pre prepositions they are. So far so good, we understand this? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. So I already explained how to use by. Actually, I'm just going to change this. Anyways, I can't change it right now. So, but you guys got the idea. Okay. So, do we understand what is what does it mean because of? Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah. So basically, yeah. because of it means um, it's the reason. It's the reason of course something. Okay. As a result of, is that like we're talking about like a consequence? Okay. Through is like saying the the manner, the way that something is done, and due to is similar to because of. Okay, so yeah. because of or due to is um the same idea. Okay, so I could say the same thing. I could use the present continuous passive using by because of is result through or due to. I'll give you another example. And because of, you, since you guys already get the idea, I'm not gonna be changing the colors because of time, but you guys get the idea that um, we're always gonna use be in the present continuous or in the present perfect passive form, okay? So 
example. I'm going to do into this one so I can use. Oh, whoops, I know. Both of them are fun. Okay, computer is. Okay, so here is my end example of this. The computer is being checked as a result. Let me just put the R somewhere else. I didn't want it to. Okay. So the computer is being checked as a result of a hacking in the system. Okay, so over here, um, the same idea, we have the many, the, the computer is the, um, the, the subject of, well, the object of the, of the active voice, which becomes a subject in the passive voice. And then here, uh, we use the, um, the, the verb, the, the verb in the present continuous is being, okay, we use is because the computer is singular. And after that, we're gonna use the past participle of check, which is check. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna be using the preposition. as a result of, and then the continuation of the, like the, 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 the complement, okay? All right, I'll give you another example. Okay. Um, Okay. All right, so we have all the employees are being tested for COVID due to the exposure at the site. Okay, so, um, well, this is something that, you know, we, this is not very uncommon to happen. Imagine somebody at, um, a, at the workplace got infected, right, with COVID, then all the employees would be tested, right? Okay, so uh, so in this case, we have um, the the 
verb in the present continuous are being. Okay. Then we have the past participle of test, which is tested. Then we have for COVID. And then here we say the reason. Why are they being tested for COVID? Due to, oops. due to an explosion at the, at the at the site so it means this is the reason the, the reason for the for the, the tests are the exposure at the site so far so good yes teacher yes any questions no questions guys no, 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 not. Okay, all right, good. Um, in that case, let's continue. Um, okay, all right. So now this is what the present continuous. So if you notice, all of them are, all of the verb to be's are in the present continuous. Are being, are being is being or being. So it's always gonna be one of these two, are being or is being. Not, it's not very common to use um, am being, okay? Now let's use the other one, the present perfect passive um, to talk about because of, and the other one is through, okay? So for example, Okay, all right. So the passports have been taken because of a renewal. Okay, so here, no, hold on. All right, oh. sorry. Okay, there we go. All right, so the, the passports have been taken because of a, rene a renewal. Um, you guys understand what renewal means? No, not really, teacher. Renewal uh, is when, sure. a renewal means when you uh, make something new again. So it means that you have to um, ask for a new one, okay? Um, do you guys remember a few years ago, uh, there was a massive, well, maybe not a few years ago, it was probably like only two or three years ago, that there was a massive, um, in one year, everybody in El Salvador had to change their Dewey because it all expired in the same year. So that, because they wanted to do a renewal. Okay, do you understand renewal? Okay. Yes. Yes. Right? So in Spanish, how do you say renewal? Renovación. Renovación, exactly. It wouldn't be in English renovation. No. It doesn't exist. No, because renovation is uh, like when you are decorating again, making like a, a like making a building more beautiful or something. That would be renovation. Oh, okay. Okay. Renewal is with like documents. Oh. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So anyways, going back to this, we would have 
Um, so in this case, we're going to be using the verb to be in the present perfect form. The present perfect of be would be have been. We use have because the passports are plural. Yeah. So, um, and then after that, we use the, pa the, the past participle of take is taken, right? And then finally, we use the preposition because of. So, let's change the color because of. It's the reason. This is the reason. When you say because of, we're talking about a reason. Sounds good? Yes. Any questions? No, teacher. I was wondering if, if you, teacher, can share, share with us this screen and a chat work, please. Sorry, if I can what? Sharing with us this is this uh, this work on the screen and uh, chat the work. Oh and oh okay, um, sure. If somebody can take it a, a picture and then maybe upload it, that would be wonderful. But I'm not finished yet. I still have one more. I have, we haven't looked at the ah, Okay. 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 So I'm just gonna finish that off. Um, For example, um, Okay, so the card has been given to us through the health system. Okay, so um, in this case, we have the card is a subject, right? And then um, okay, then we're going to be using the present perfect of B. In this case, we're using has been because the card the card is singular. Okay. And then the past participle of give is given. Okay. Given to us. And then we use a preposition through the health system. Do you guys understand through? Yeah. Right? Like in Spanish, a través de. That means the way, the way that it was done. Teacher, what is the difference between throughout? Oh, I don't remember if that is the- Throughout. Oh, yeah. Throughout is like saying a través de. Or um, throughout means like- um, Mediante, teacher. O por medio de. That in this case through yes, but throughout no. Yeah. Throughout is um, more like a través de, yeah, or durante um, durante todo. It's a process. Then, like uh, it's a process. Yeah. For it's example, true. throughout throughout the years. Durante todo este tiempo. Oh. What about if I say throughout, the, the, class. Uh -huh. throughout the class? I'm sorry, what was the question? What about if I say throughout the class? We receive many topics, for example. 
Throughout, it, yes, but normally we uh, we use throughout for a period of time. Okay. Not so much for people. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, any other questions that you guys have? No. That sentence that that you have that you have written would be the same if I say we have given a card through the health system. No, because then you say we have given a card. That means that we gave it to them. But this given. one we received the card. The card was received through the health system. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So in one of them, we are doing the action. In the other one, we received the action. Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah. OK, so that, that's, that's how we would use um, the structure here. OK, so you guys, um, so if somebody wants to take the picture and upload it, All right, so Maricela, did I, did I answer your question? Because I know I know you wanted more more sentences as examples. Yes, so. teacher. I, I don't have any problem with the structure, but um, it's more to when you use, um, for example, uh, present continuous passing. The action uh, is for something that continues, right? Right. And present perfect passive action was done and I lost the idea. When? This one? The present perfect passive? Yes. The present perfect passive is used when an action happened before and finished before the present. So if you say the report has been sent already, they sent the report before the present. If they say the passports have been taken because of a renewal, that means they took the passports before okay. the present. Okay. If they say the card has been given to us through the health system, it means that the card, um, the health system gave the card before the present, right? So if you say, if you actually translate this to Spanish, I would say, El reporte ha sido enviado. O ya, ya ha sido enviado. This one, los pasaportes han, um, han sido tomados eh, por una renovación. Yeah. Eh, la tarjeta ha sido dada, uh, ha sido, uh, nos, ha, nos ha sido dada a través del de sistema de salud. Yes, okay. Okay? okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank You're you, teacher. Welcome. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Anything else you want to ask before we leave? Teacher, so. Um, I don't know. I can't send many message so that you can see it. Sorry. I can't send any message. Oh yes, that is. So could you tell me what is what's wrong with that? We have been given a card. Oh, we have been given a card. Oh no, that's fine. Uh, uh, yes. So my question was if what would be the difference between these sentences um with the other that you have route that the you card have has been given to us? Yeah. Uh, or, or they mean the same. They mean the same. It's just a different structure. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but the, the meaning is the same. Okay. Sorry, this okay. term is with Y. Right? Sorry? The word system. 
Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is okay. Right. Correct. All right. All right. Any other questions? Um, not too soon. That's good. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. No. I erased that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, in that case, we're going to stop there. Um, and what I encourage you to do when you have the time is for you to uh, go there. Well, actually, Yeah, this is a, this is actually can every, can everybody see the PowerPoint presentation that I'm showing? You see this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yes. in in the section section two point one, you will see um, these sentences, and in parentheses we have to we have the the proposition so i want you to practice that these sentences practice changing these um these are the the active voice and i want you to change the passive voice using the preposition in parentheses does that make sense yes it's okay. made sense All right. yes so that's going to be for homework guys so let's let's work on that and then tomorrow we'll 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 work on that in class Sounds good? Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Great. Okay, guys. So that will be all for today. Um, it's great to have um, seen your faces, some of your faces anyways, uh, but um, it's, it's great to, um, to have you guys in class again. Um, I haven't seen some of you for some time and others of you hadn't seen them all. So, um, so that's great. I'm glad to see you guys again. All right, so um, anything you need, please let me know. Remember, start the platform, finish section one if you haven't done it yet, and start with section number two, okay? Uh, because if you do this till the last minute, you're not gonna do it well, you're gonna be rushing, you're gonna have problems, and it's gonna be a disaster. So start slowly but surely, okay? Okay, guys. Okay, it's been a you. pleasure seeing okay. you guys again. Take care. See you tomorrow. Right, thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, it's Bye. okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. I I totally understand. Sometimes, um, yeah, the microphones are are not so great. So it's okay, um, Diana. I understand. All right. So, anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Good. See you. Yeah.